More than 140 million Americans have had COVID-19. The CDC released these new numbers that show about 43% of the country has already been affected by the virus. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno joins us now. Lauren. So the study really showed how many people got sick from the Omicron variant. So when the CDC did this study in late November, it estimated 103 million people had been affected, which means over the course of two months, by late January, 37 million more people caught the virus. Now, for perspective, that's almost the equivalent to every person in Florida getting COVID twice. This comes as Pfizer announced its COVID vaccine is not as effective as first thought in kids 5 to 11, but doctors say there are other reasons it's important for everyone to get the shot. By now, we all know COVID vaccines wane over time. That's why boosters were recommended. But we now know vaccines for kids 5 to 11 are not as effective in the first place. What does this really mean for parents? Yeah, so just breaking down very easily, what that, that study showed was that the vaccine was not effective in the younger age group of kids uh, versus the older age kids and adults uh, during the Omicron surge, which isn't entirely surprising. UF Health Jacksonville Infectious Disease and Prevention Director Chad Nielsen says that's because kids 5 to 11 got a smaller dose of the vaccine compared to everyone else. The study was done by researchers from the New York State Department of Health. It found for kids 5 to 11, the protection against catching the virus dropped from 68% to just 12%. Yet for children 12 to 17 who got the same dose as adults, effectiveness levels dropped from 66% to just 51%. Do you regret getting your child vaccinated? Not at all. I sleep easy at night knowing that I have done every single possible thing to keep them safe and protected. Adriana Campville's seven-year-old is immunocompromised, so she says it was never a question whether she would get her child vaccinated. God forbid if they got COVID or they, and, and they were seriously ill, I wouldn't be questioning myself and doubting myself and wishing I could go back in time and say, I could I have done something to prevent this? I know that we've done... As a family, we've done everything we can to protect our kids. And while the study revealed the vaccine is not as effective as preventing COVID-19, it showed even at the lower dose, Pfizer's vaccine provided strong protection against a child becoming seriously ill. Do you worry parents are going to take this as a sign of, oh, I don't need to get my kids vaccinated? Yeah, absolutely. I think this data definitely has the potential uh, for parents to look at this and say, see, why should I give my kids something that doesn't work? Uh, but that's where people like me come in and say, actually, you got to read the whole paper and see where it says they were still protected against hospitalization. Which Nielsen says is the main message any parent should take away from this. Now, at this point, only 25% of kids in the U.S. 5 to 11 have received two doses of the vaccine. Right now, there is no indication whether Pfizer will suggest a booster shot for that age group. Meanwhile, Pfizer has postponed its vaccine application for kids under five after it found two doses didn't work well in that age group.